Biopower is essentially having power over bodies, and no, it does not have to do with wrestling. It relates to the practice of modern nation-states and their regulations for achieving the subjugations of bodies and the control of populations. Biopower relates to governmental concerns of fostering the life of the population, and anatomopolitics of the human body, a global mass that is affected by overall characteristics specific to life, like birth, death, production, illness, and so on. It produces a generalized disciplinary society and regulatory controls through biopolitics of the population. It is basically like playing puppets but with extra steps. As we can see, biopolitics is a type of politics where the fields of human biology and politics intersect, and which takes into consideration the administration of life through the manipulation of human bodies, and accordingly, human bodies become the very target and at the same time, the seat of power in this type of politics. Meaning that, that the basic biological features of the human species have become the object of a political strategy, of a general strategy of power. In simple terms, they've got you by the balls. In Foucault's terms, it is to ensure, sustain and multiply life, to put this life in order. Foucault states the fundamental difference between biopolitics and discipline by clarifying that discipline is the technology deployed to make individuals behave, to be efficient and productive workers, while biopolitics is deployed to manage a population, for example, to ensure a healthy workforce. Foucault argues that nation-states, police, government, legal practices, human sciences, and medical institutions have their own rationale, causes and effects, strategies, technologies, mechanisms, and codes, and have managed successfully in the past to obscure their workings by hiding behind observation and scrutiny. Foucault insists that social institutions such as governments, laws, religion, politics, social administration, monetary institutions, and military institutions cannot have the same rigorous practices and procedure with claims to independent knowledge like those of the human and heart sciences, such as mathematics, chemistry, astronomy, physics, genetics, and biology. Foucault sees these differences in techniques as nothing more than behavior control technologies and modern biopower as nothing more than a series of webs and networks working its way around the societal body. Moreover, Foucault argues the exercise of power in the service of maximizing life carries a dark underside. When the state is invested in protecting the life of the population, when the stakes are life itself, anything can be justified. Like leaving the fridge open, or eradicating groups identified as the threat to the existence of the life of the nation or of humanity. And if genocide is indeed the dream of modern power, this is not because of the recent return to the ancient right to kill. It is because power is situated and exercised at the level of life, the species, the race, and the large-scale phenomena of the population.